is Nathan. Hi! So today I want to bring back my favourite star videos. I have missed doing these. I've not done one in so freaking long. And I want to tell you the things that I've loved and the things that I've hated from the previous month. So I'll try and aim for these around the first week of the following month. So obviously this one's going to be for January. So this series, if we if we want to call it a series, is called Hates and Greats. Like in life, I always think if you take the bad news first and end on the good note, in for a win. So it's going to be my hates first, the things that I hated during the previous month, and then my greats, the things that I absolutely loved during the previous month. So let's get into it. Let's talk about January. Hey! I have hated January. Just to sum it up, I absolutely detest January every year. Anyway, I find it the one of the most depressing months ever. This one was no exception to that. I absolutely hated it. Yes, I went to Disneyland Paris, but apart from that, it was pretty crap. I feel like once the Christmas festivities are over, I hate New Year's anyway. I find it a real like, mm. January is just like, it seems to go on forever. Like no one has any money. No one wants to do anything. It's gray, it's cold. No, it's just one of the worst months. And I'm really sorry if your birthday's in that month, but sucks for you, you know? Like it is horrible. I've never been so glad to see the back of a month before. Honestly, it was, it was tragic. If you'd watched my other videos, you know that I went in hospital and I got my bank account hacked. So all in all, it was shit. And then of course, another thing you have to hate in January is diets. Now I have not lost weight since going to Walt Disney World. I gained a lot of weight there because I mean, you you just have to eat when you're there. And then we had Christmas, so again, I gained a lot of weight because, you know, biscuits and puddings and everything. So it's been a struggle. I've been really trying hard to keep my weight down. I haven't been able to do much exercise because of this cut I got on my stomach from the hospital visit. So yeah, that's been a struggle, um, but we're, we're getting there. I'm quite happy with the process. I've I've lost, I've lost some. I mean, this t-shirt was quite tight on me and it feels super baggy that I put it on today. So um, that's a good sign. I'm rolling with it, I'm rolling with it. So as much as I hated it, it's paying off, so win. So that's sort of like the mediocre stuff that, you know, everyone hates. Another thing, I haven't really bought many things that I've hated in the month of January. It was just sort of like, no one had any money. I didn't want to buy anything. But one thing I did buy, which I regret buying, I've got it here, I think, yes I do. So on my old iPhone case, I put this Mickey Mouse kickstand thing, you know, so that you can put your finger in it and not drop your phone. Probably not just this one. I've not really um, used one before, but how friggin' annoying are these things? I was just, I was keeping it flat. That I just didn't want to get it out to put my finger in it and that's what she said <laughs> but it, i just found it really really irritating so this was definitely a hate this month because i was just like no i need a new phone case this is annoying once it's stuck on there it's stuck on there so i had to buy the whole new thing again maybe a pop socket would be better if you guys have had experience with a pop socket let me know in the comments below but this was freaking irritating and i didn't ever use it as a stand so no. My hates were pretty tame this month. I mean, I hated life in general, but when it comes to products, not that bad. But enough of that depressing stuff. Let's move on to grapes. So regardless of January being absolutely crap, I did get a few good great things. Any products that I talk about in this video, I'll put the links in the description so you can go and check them out for yourself. These are all things that I highly recommend and if you want them, I would grab them. So I'll leave them in the description. But if you'd watched my other videos, you know that I am now a qualified tarot reader and crystal healer. I've been a crystal healer for like years now. I've had that qualification. I just love crystals as you can see. Look, 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 look. Now I'm a qualified tarot reader, something that I've always been really interested in. And I went to see a medium a few years ago and they said I had a gift for it even though I'd never done it before and I was just like Tch, yeah whatever now I'm really into it and the readings that I have given have been insanely accurate like I've surprised myself they're surprised so I'm loving it I'm loving it so my first great is these new tarot cards that I've got. My wonderful friend Chester brought me these. This one is a tattoo tarot. I'm not gonna open the box and show you because I'm gonna be doing a lot of videos on tarots and I wanna surprise you with how gorgeous these cards are. Wow, eight coins, tattoo tarot. This is absolutely incredible. This is by Lana Zellner and wow, I mean, stunning, right up my alley and give fantastic readings, so 
link in the description for those. And then this one, oh my god, this one is absolutely gorgeous. Written and illustrated by Kim Kranz, the Wild Unknown Tarot Deck and Guidebook. These are incredible, honestly absolutely gorgeous. There's some of these that I could just easily get tattooed all over my body, but like I said, I'm gonna be doing a lot of tarot things coming up. I'm super excited to share with you. So um, I'm not gonna open it and show you. I want to keep you in suspense and keep you surprised when I do these tarot readings, but these are definitely a great. The next thing is, as I said, I love crystals. And my mum and dad actually bought me this new crystal for Christmas. It's a blue Argate, and look how stunning that is. <gasps> I absolutely love it. I love that the outside is like a rock and then just think, cut that open, beautiful on the inside. The blue Argate is great for easing aches and strains and things like that. So I just thought this was great. Whenever you feel you're a bit achy, this is the crystal to cling your energy onto. Absolutely love it. I'm gonna be doing lots of crystal videos as well. I have so many. So, um, I'll be talking through those. If you're looking forward to that, let me know in the comments so I know that you'd be interested. Next up is actually an item of clothing and this is from Disneyland Paris. So one thing I've never really been into from Disney parks is the spirit jerseys. I've always thought, why? Like, why? I don't get it. But since going to Walt Disney World, I fell in love with the one there, which I posted lots of pictures on my Instagram, at That's Nathan, if you're not following me. And they're so comfy. They're like that slouch wear, but you still look decent in it. So when I went to Disneyland Paris, I thought I have been so many times Times and I've never brought myself a spirit jersey. Why? Why? So I did this time. I got the bronzed bell, bell of, bell of the bronze, of, I can't remember what it's called. Look, it's like a shiny bronze color on the front and then on the back it's got Disneyland Paris in shiny bronze and then it's got these flecks of bronze down the bottom on black, obviously, but I love it. I absolutely love this. I think it's so classy, yet cute, and oh, and I've washed this and it's absolutely fine. I know a lot of people were worried about the um, shininess coming off, which I was worried too, because in store I thought, nah, not getting it. It's gonna all fall off, but I've washed it and it's absolutely fine, so total win. Next, I'm gonna move on to music. Now, because I was ill on New Year's, I didn't do my video of what my favorite albums were from the past year. I'm absolutely gutted about that because I've been doing that for God knows how many years now. If you'd still like it, let me know. If not, I'll just wait until next year. January has given us some gems. And first of all, we have to talk about Hayley Williams of Paramore becoming a solo artist. She is releasing an album in May and I am super, super excited about it. I love her, I love the grunginess, I love that she's able to do so many different styles and um, Simmer that came out was absolutely incredible. I'll leave the link in the description to the music video. Stunning. Like I can just tell that this album is going to be freaking awesome. Then of course we have to talk about Dua Lipa. Wow, she has given us everything that pop has been missing for the last few years. Like, this is what we needed. Don't start now. Absolute banger. Future nostalgia. Wow. And now physical. I am absolutely in love. These three, she's absolutely slaying it. She looks incredible. That bitch has signed up to the Illuminati. They've given her that slip and they're like, you know what? You give us your womb, dye your hair blonde, you're in. <laughs> And hello, here we are. Since that video of her dancing, you know, where she's just like shaking her hip and she looks so bored and so out of her comfort zone, she's really upped the game. I love the Illuminati so freaking much. So the next two products that I got are actually gadgets all to do with music. First up is I got the new Sonos One, which has the built-in smart assistant that is run by Amazon. I'm not gonna say the name because it'll set all of yours off. So I had the Echo Plus before and the sound quality isn't that great, but this, I was so surprised when I plugged it in, I was literally living my best life. And I use the smart assistant from Amazon a lot. Like she controls all my lights, she can basically controls my whole room. So I use it a lot, so I need it. Need, me being lazy, I don't wanna turn my light off when I'm in bed at night. If you want a Sonos speaker, if you want a good quality speaker, this is the one. I absolutely love it. The next thing I got myself are the AirPods Pro. Absolutely love these. I had the other AirPods and they always hurt my ears. Always, like I know it's really lame, but they really hurt your ears after a long period of time. These, I don't even realize they are in my ears. They are so comfy and that noise cancellation is an absolute godsend. But I also really love the transparency mode because you're able to listen to your music 
and hear things going on around you, which I think you kind of need. I feel like I need it when I'm in public places, just in case something was to happen. Probably because I'm a worrier, but I always think, what if something was to happen and I've got noise cancellation on and I can't hear why everyone's running? Something that crosses my mind daily. These are absolutely incredible and I highly recommend anyone that has been looking for headphones and you didn't really like the first generation of the AirPods, the AirPods Pro, absolute win. They don't give you that pressure feeling. I always find when I've got both headphones in, I always feel like my ears are like combusting. Like I feel like there's no air and I've they've suctioned in. I hate that feeling so much. These, because they've got airflow, they don't give you that feeling. I don't even realize they're in, they're so comfy. So 100% recommend them. And I did take them out without a case. And uh, me being OCD freak, the white was getting dirty. Like in my bag, they were getting dirty. I didn't like it. So I went and bought myself a case. Again, I will leave the links in the description below. But I got this cute little leather case for them that has the clip on it so that you can clip it inside your bag so you don't lose them like rolling around the bottom of your bag. You can still charge this wirelessly. It's got all the indicator lights so that you can see, you can connect it. It's by the brand Mer Case, but I love it. Real leather and it's, so protective so because i am a freak and i like to protect everything i own this was a must for me so i absolutely love it but i think that's all the things that i have loved in january it's been a crazy month to say the least absolutely insane i'm glad to be back making videos for you on a regular basis and uh, I just feel like maybe now we can start the year, 2020. Like I was really hoping for such a fantastic year and then I got ill and I was in hospital and I was like, okay, great. Loving 2020 already. So let's just forget January. Let's um, start the year now. Hopefully February will be better and I'll be back with a new video next week, but also my hates and greats will be at the beginning of March. So uh, make sure you stick around for that. But I really hope you guys enjoyed having a favourites style video back. If you did, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you and what you think of the products that I loved and hated through January. While you're down there, please make sure you give this video a massive thumbs up and click subscribe so you don't miss out on anything else that I do. If you aren't following me over on my other social channels, I have a Facebook, a Twitter, and Instagram, all under the name at That's Nathan. So if I'm not posting here, I'll be posting over there so we can always stay connected. I am gonna be revealing a lot more stuff that I'm gonna be doing on this channel and over on my Instagram, so make sure you check them out. Please don't miss a thing, because I'm super excited to see where this is gonna go. Bring on February. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. See ya!